Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. I am the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme. Make sure you head over to our website right now at hotspotatl.com and look at some of our write-ups. Look at what, you know what I'm saying, what's going on in the city. Speaking of what's going on in the city, I have Cincinnati's finest in the building with me, Miss Skyward Black. Brrr. We were just joking before I cannot roll my R's. <laughs> And I was joking with my guy back there. I'm like, in Spanish class, I tried to learn. And it was just like, boom. First off, how are you? I feel good. How you feeling? Appreciate you coming by, coming yes, and see us. I appreciate that. Congratulations on having a single that is literally tearing up the airwaves. Thank you. I'm, I'm, Wake I'm up. glad I, I'm feeling good. I was in the studio when I saw the music video. Mm -hmm. And you was fresh as hell. And I'm like, what? I, I see you was at Chris Brown house. And then, because you know in the studio sometimes it's just literally videos playing. And then I had heard the song, and shout out Incognito and DJ Misses, your video was playing in our little lobby on the side. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's the song! Right, right. So first and foremost, how has everything been with just growing and first off being from Cincinnati and putting on for the city for real? Um, it's been amazing. The journey's been crazy. You know, because like in the beginning, I was doing it for like 2014 or 2020. Is that when so you started rapping? Yeah, 2014. Mm -hmm. So I was doing it for like seven years alone. Mm -hmm. Like, so it was a lot of ups and downs. Not ups, I wouldn't even say ups and downs because I'm like a up person. Even mm -hmm. when I'm down, I would say like just a lot of circles, mm -hmm. you know, like just trying to figure out what I need to be doing, how I need to be doing it, what else I need to start doing, what I, you know, what I need to stop doing. So I feel like the journey was crazy. Yeah. Like, and it's like that's it, the best part, though. Yeah, it's like the the journey been so crazy, but it's like now on this tenth year mm -hmm. that I've been doing is you got a song mm -hmm. with Chris Brown, and it's a it's the a hit. decade in a decade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I just you know I just learned a lot over the time, mm -hmm. a lot of discipline, a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of it, I learned how to go about a lot of situations. I learned how to control my emotions for one. That was my Isn't number one. Isn't that such a big key to yeah, everything like, though? Cause like I'm a I'm a hothead. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, Gemini. that means you be passionate though. Yeah, it's like Gemini. What's your birthday? I just had a birthday, May 25th. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank I love you. Gemini's. All of my Thank bestest you. friends are Gemini. Yeah. yeah. So like, it le I, I learned how to control my emotions. That was mm -hmm. the number one thing that I needed to do. Yeah. Like, and I know it's helped you in taking you eons just with your career by just knowing how to. I feel like knowing where and how to channel those emotions mm -hmm. could definitely help. I mean. You got an amazing song that's out everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, MySpace, Kick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so take me back. What happened in 2014 that made you be, make you be like, okay, rapping? This is for Skyward. Um, I literally, my friends back at home used to have like a studio. Mm -hmm. So we used to just always be there every day. Mm -hmm. And when you somewhere every day, like. You get curious. It's kinda, yeah. Like, it's like, this? all right, let me try this. Uh -huh. Like Literally just from being in the studio just every day, like. Mm -hmm. We just kicking it, mm -hmm. chilling. I'm with the gang. We just chilling, like, you know, just trying to be off the streets at this yeah. point. So I literally was sitting at the studio one day, and I'm just like, okay, I'm about to do a freestyle. Like, fuck mm -hmm. it, I'm about to rap. Yeah. You know, it, and it, it went from a joke turning into, like, a reality. So that's really, like, big for me because mm -hmm. it was really like, yeah, I'm just, I'm playing. I'm playing around. You know, like, and it, it's just crazy where playing to take you. Exactly. So, <laughs> um. In 2014, I dropped this freestyle, and it went crazy. Like, I put it on YouTube, it went crazy. Like, mm -hmm. what, SoundCloud, stuff like that. Yeah. It went crazy. Not YouTube, it was SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. It went crazy, though. Like, yeah. everybody seeing, now I'm in the hood, everybody seeing me like, bro, like, you need to rap. Like, yeah, you need to, take you need to rap. Yeah, yeah, so I still wasn't taking it serious. I'm like, yeah. Stop playing, like, bro. Yeah. But now I'm at a point where I'm curious, so I'm trying it. Now I'm, mm -hmm. I'm making freestyles off. Future beats, Dage Loaf beats. I'm making freestyles at this point, and I'm putting it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Facebook. Yes. I didn't realize how Facebook is really like TikTok. It's yes. so many people on there, and everybody's yes. just, it's really almost Scrolling. an explore page. Mm -hmm. if you No, know, friends. But whatever. How did that, when you saw your song, your freestyle going up, did you know to put it on Facebook? Or what were you planning on? What app were you planning on? Like, okay, I'm going to push it here first. Were you doing that? No, I dropped the very first one on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And then I, Facebook was the only social media I had at the time. Mm -hmm. So now I'm on the couch making freestyles to different beats. And mm -hmm. I'm putting those new ones on there. Mm -hmm. Like, because the freestyle on SoundCloud was a, a MP3. I'm doing freestyles like face-to-face -face now. Mm -hmm. Somebody recording me and I'm just on right the there phone. rapping. Yeah. yeah, so once I started doing that, 
and now I'm looking at the the social media feedback, not just the streets. Like mm -hmm. it's like, damn, okay, so they liking this. So now yeah. I'm in the studio. But in 2015, my best friend, that one I said gave me the name, mm -hmm. he passed away. Yeah. So it was like, okay, like, okay, it's my now I gotta do this. Yeah. Like it's because I feel like we was just all in the streets at the time, mm -hmm. and it was just like. I needed something new. Mm -hmm. Like it was like shit. This shit over with. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> when you grow up in a in an environment like that for yeah. all your life, it's like all right. I've been doing this for nineteen years. Mm -hmm. Like I'm tired of it. Yeah. You know. So it was like for me, it was like nah. I gotta I gotta figure something out. Exactly. Like I ain't trying to be and out. Boy, didn't it? you? Cause you up in here fresh <laughs> for real. <laughs> so okay, when you dropped the freestyle and you started making the videos face to face rapping so the beat was it behind you and you was popping your stuff mm -hmm. when you started to drop those and they were going viral what would you say or who would you say was like one of your biggest earlier cosigns like seeing you repost one of those videos you was like yeah see that right you had to refresh who would you say see at Caught that you time off it wasn't no cosigns it really? was literally just the streets like mm -hmm. it wasn't no i probably got a cosign what was it 2017 mm -hmm. I met little baby in twenty seventeen. Fire. And he was like, You like oh, you I fuck with your game. Like that was twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. Cause we had booked him. My people had booked him for a show and they did like all the Cincinnati artists too. Mm -hmm. That was his first show. We booked we the first That's people hard. that booked him. So it was like Cincinnati artists and he was the headliner basically. Mm -hmm. So he sent me performing. He was like, I fuck with your game, like like I'm like, huh? That's he like, hard. I fuck with your game. Like so you know, that was my first co sign ever. Literally the first one. What type and of motivation was, did that give you? He was a fresh artist. Yeah. Like he he had only had we had only knew my dog. My dog. Okay. Yeah. He yeah, was a, he was a brand for sure. Yeah. He was a brand new artist. So, mm -hmm. but we knew my dog. You see, what I'm yeah. saying that was going crazy. Yeah. So, um, that was my first cosign ever. I never told nobody that either. That's, That's crazy. Hard, though. That's crazy. Um, my first like huge cosign was was Meek Mill. Mm -hmm. Meek Mill. That was my first like on the internet. That was yeah. my first. Like global. Um, you remember meeting and Meek for the first time in person? Yeah, I met Meek in New York. Okay. Yeah, Man, I, I love New York. New York. What were y'all doing? Just out working, media run? Uh, it was like, no, I didn't. My first, I'm tripping. I met Meek in Cincinnati. They was on tour, him and Lil Baby. Mm, how ironic. That's fire. Yeah, he, they was on tour. That's fire. Uh, you went to the show? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, they invited me to the show. That's tight. Hell yeah, they invited me. Uh, he was cool as fuck. Like he was, he was what I expected. Like yeah. I've been listening to Meek all my life, so Same, yeah. it was, it was just funny. It was, he was, he was what I expected him to be. Like, like we had some good conversations back there too. Like, and I always like real street niggas. I, I love them. That's yeah. where I come from. He down to earth. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Like you know, I'm always love that yeah. over anything. For sure. You see what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, that Meek, that's my nigga. That's fire. I mean, I feel like women in rap right now is taking over the game. Mm -hmm. um, fuck fame. And part two, shout out my sister Lola Brooke. I actually heard this song because my sister is a big fan of you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know. Turn that on song. <laughs> How did you and Lola first meet? We met through Sav. Okay. Through the label. Okay. Um, I was like, yeah, I just closed the deal with him. And he was like, yo, like, we're going to get Lola on the remix. I'm like, Fire. of course. He's like, going to shoot it in your city. Uh, double, of course. Got to. Like, that's mandatory. That's fine. So, she, uh, he, she, they flew out. Mm -hmm. We shot the video. She, she, so, she turned. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Lola, she got that one energy. Amazing. Yeah, she, like, she, she next level. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out my sister, man. She for next sure. level. For sure. Lola next level. If you could put together your dream collab feature, you got two spots on it. What, how would you build your dream song? Who would you put on? Who would I put on there? Yeah. I get two. Two. <sighs> Dream. Dream. Mm. All right. It's going number one. It's going number one. It's crazy. But I got to go with, this is a dream, bro. I got to, well, this makes sense. I, I mean, when you say it, it's going to happen. Male or female, right? Yeah, either way. See, I make all kinds of music, so mm -hmm. you, do I get the two you genres? Any genre, doesn't have to be hip-hop, it could be poetry. Mm. If I would go, I'm going to just make it like this. If I, if I would go two girls, it will be Taylor Swift. That's hard. I got to go Taylor. <laughs> I, I love, like, 
hip hop and all, I love pop too. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to like see how I would balance that out. It'll be Taylor for sure. Yeah. Taylor, Miley. That's crazy. It's yeah. so hard. That's so that hard. I, I got a lot of amazing yeah. artists that I genuinely love. Besides hip hop, like, what genre do you listen to most? Pop. I love pop stars. That's wow. where I learn my creativity from. Mm. Like, especially when I'm doing like auto tune and I'm in my yeah. bag, like wake, wake up. Yeah. That's a record that came from me listening to my pop version mixed with a little R and B. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Sam Smith, like that's somebody I really, really want a song with. Some like soulful voices, yeah. For like, sure. And then it's like it's just so many people out there that I, yeah. I couldn't really put two people on. I can't pick. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. That's fine. Because I thought about SZA, Mary J. Yeah. I, I thought about so many people at once. <laughs> I'm like, I can't even pick. I can't pick just the two. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't and that's why it. I salute you though as an artist, because one thing that I really admire about your brand is your artistry for real. Mm -hmm. So this time next year. I see you at the Grammys, right? What are two things you wanna, or you would have have wanted to accomplish, like on your artist bucket list that you could say, Skylar did that. Two things. Give me two things. First, winning the Grammy, of course. Come on now, <laughs> manifesting that. Winning it. Okay. Uh, and you know, just putting the city on, like, like, a hundred percent, bro. For sure. Like bringing uh, like a lot of resources in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. A lot of people there. That's all they talking about is Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah. Right. Went in the Grammy and they and they as soon as I get up there they say I got Cincinnati Ohio on the ground. Oh boy, that's hard. <laughs> For real. For all of your fans that are watching, what are some things they can be expecting from Miss Skyler before the end of twenty twenty four? Um, tour. I want to. I want to. I'm, I'm. 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 I'm hoping we go on tour. For sure. I start a tour. I want to do a tour. I, I'm. A, I'm a buy tickets. Yeah. I don't even want you to give to me. Give yeah. me tickets. I'm a buy tickets. Yeah, I want to do a tour. For sure. Uh, I know I'm building my catalog, so we about to be dropping soon. Fire. We got a couple releases coming soon, so. Mm -hmm. Any Just unreleased more. features you willing to? Mm -hmm. So that means you guys need to make sure you're tapped in with my mm -hmm. sister, for sure, right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, just building a brand, mm -hmm. Skylar Black. Who is Skylar Black? I got a dog of Mary coming soon. Fire. So, yeah, just building a really brand. Really showing how you grew up in Cincy and the whole nine. Fire. Yeah. fire. As soon as I get back home, I'm going to shoot that. That's hard. Like, tomorrow. Is that your idea? Uh, The label. Management, mm. all of us. But you got a story for real. So I feel like for all of your fans, it's going to definitely help them be like, I love her even more. Yeah, because I feel like I'm the, type, I'm the type of artist people like. You're very personable. Like, how is she? How is she? Like, when you hear the music, it's like, what the fuck? Like, what is she? How is she doing that? So yeah. it's like, I have to do a documentary so it can help people understand, understand. me. Yeah. Like, that's why she like that. Like, mm -hmm. that's why she rapping about stuff like that. That's yeah. how she, you know, because it's like the internet's so crazy now. Mm -hmm. People can they know they learned how to fake things. Mm -hmm. So it's like once they see the documentary, it's like oh, I okay. get it. There it go. Yeah, yeah. That's fire. So that's number. That's one of the number one things I want out for sure. This before the year up, the documentary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fire. <laughs> My sister Scarlett Black is here with me at Hot 107. I make sure you like the video again. Go to our website and stay up to date with everything that's going on in the city. Hotspotatl.com.